Hello guys and welcome back to the CS Tech. My name is Claudio and in this video I'm gonna try to explain you how you can connect Tesla modulus battery to Victron Energy inverter via this BMS. So let's get started. First of all, sorry for my English, it's not my native language, so if you don't understand something from this video, I will try to answer to all of your questions into the commentary below. So just write me over there uh, what you don't understand from this video. Let's go and start about batteries. These batteries are coming from Tesla Module S and of course this battery has 24 volts. If you want to use it in 48 volt system from Victron Energy, you need minimum two of them. So you connect in series these batteries and you will achieve 48 volts. And you connect negative to negative to Victron and of course positive is going through this device and from this device is going to the inverter of the Victron. Basically this device is a connecting key between batteries and inverter and of course is a computer that can handle and send all the information from the battery to the Victron and in this way if something happening this device will disconnect the inverter from the battery because like I told you earlier the uh, positive is going to this device and from this device is going to the inverter. Let's talk about this, this BMS because in fact it's a BMS it's an active BMS and of course it's a smart device because as you can see over here you have an LCD you have a power button and I will show you what you can find also inside. This device is made in Holland It's made by a company named BPAT Energy they send it to me because I have another YouTube channel in Romanian because Romanian is my native language so in that channel I test all these devices and of course I promise to them I will make a video in English so this device it's uh, almost plug and play because when you order it from Holland you receive this unit and of course you receive all the cables that you need to connect the battery inverter in fact you need a communication cable this cable it's uh, basically made special for two modules so if you have a module that uh, in fact, if you have an inverter that you use only two modules, you need this cable. Let me tell you about the battery. Each pack has 5 kilowatts hour of energy. So if you put in series together, you will achieve 10 kilowatts hour of energy. This amount of energy is the same amount of energy you will receive in a real Tesla power. But keep it in mind, Tesla module, uh, Tesla module S module, this one you can see over here, has lithium battery. So lithium battery is very dangerous in your home if you don't use one of these devices. Okay. Okay, let's talk about uh, cables. So in, if you order this device for two modules, you receive the cable that look like this. The cable it's plug and play, just connected into the Tesla module S BMS because Tesla, each Tesla module S, uh, has a slave BMS. This BMS is connected together to this cable. Basically it's a daily, daisy chain connection. And once you connect to the battery, you don't need to do anything. Just connect this into the main board of this unit. I will show you what is it's inside, but let me to explain you how this unit work. Let me show you the face of this device. Okay, sorry. Okay, so you have an LCD display. You don't need a computer in order to set up this device. This device uh, can handle all the settings, all the parameters, all everything in one display. The display is color display, it's touch screen, and everything, like I told you earlier, can be done over here. So basically, just connect this cable to the inverter, connect the negative cable from here to inverter, and the positive is going from uh, positive uh, of the battery into this contactor, and from this contactor, to inverter. Basically you can see over here we have a contactor so let me show you. Negative is going to the battery and positive is going from here to this connection and from here is going to the inverter. Basically, the cable that is going from here to the inverter is uh, going through a current sensor. The current sensor looks like this and receive all the information that you need to to know about the current flow, how much energy you send to the battery and how much energy you drain from the battery. All this information is analyzed by this device and via CAN bus because this device will be connected to Victron Energy via CAN bus will be showing your uh, JX device. If you use Serbo, if you use Colon Control, if you use Multi Plus 2 and of course the older version of JX like Venus and Octo you can receive all the information about the battery state of charge and the battery temperature, the voltage of each cell from the battery. You can show it in your Victron Energy device and of course you can handle the form there. Also, all that information are shown on this LCD display and of course, like I told you, you can set up from here. What is nice about this device, it's the thing that can communicate with the battery directly. So you just connect the cable, it's plug and play. 
Once the cable is connected to the device, we'll receive information from the battery. How much one cell is charged, how much one cell is discharged, and if our difference between cell, this BMS send information to the slave BMS on the battery and this slave battery will start to balance the battery so they will try to make it on the same level because like I told you uh, at the beginning these are lithium batteries and lithium battery can be dangerous if they are not keep it on the same level so you must not charge lithium for example if one cell has 4 volts and another cell has 3 volts the battery must be on the same level in order to charge so this is the things that this BMS do measure the battery if the battery is not the same send information to the slave and the slave will try to balance the battery all this balancing is made 24 hours so each time the battery is not the same the BMS send information to the slave BMS basically it's an active BMS connected with the inactive BMS so it's a master with a slave in fact this is the real uh, the real comparison about them this is master this are slave this device can handle, I think, 20, 30 module of Tesla. If you order this one, you can go to their website. I will put it in the description below their website. Just order the battery from there if you want to buy from them. And of course, order the correct cable in order to uh, be compatible with, with your batteries. So, once you connect the cable, the information was sent from the batteries to the inverter. One other thing that I like on this BMS is the thing that, first of all, you, need the, you don't need a computer in order to set up, communicate with Victron via canvas, and of course has the possibility to heat and cool the battery. Because Tesla battery, if you don't know, has an entire cooling system, and if you install the battery in a cold uh, I don't know area you need to keep it them very very warm so you can connect into this unit a heat pump or I don't know a device that can heat the water and of course the pump that will send all the cooling system to this battery so the unit in, in fact has a possibility to send information when the battery is too hot to call them and when it's too cold to heat them. So all these things you can do in this LCD display and of course the unit can do this itself. So just set up for the first time, set I want the, for example to have 24 uh, degrees on this battery so the device will keep in mind when the battery is going down will rise the, the heating coolant and of course will uh, turn on the pump and send uh, to, the, to the battery cooling system. In fact in order to cool down or heat down so the unit it's very useful if you use tesla battery in your system don't use tesla battery without this bms because it can burn your house because if the tesla battery are not correctly charging and correctly discharging can be hazard like i told you earlier you have here a contactor the contactor will disconnect the battery if you have any problem with, with your system for example if the bms detect that the battery cannot be balancing safely will disconnect the contactor and send all the information via canvas to the victron energy and in your victron energy you can receive one information that tell you that the battery is disconnected and of course receive all the information about the real battery status battery voltage and of course the battery temperature i will make another video i hope next week when we'll mount this battery together with this bms on a real victron energy i wait uh, the victron energy to send me that uh, demo unit that they promised to me so once i have that unit on my desk i will try to make all the video and show you how this unit work in the real life don't use tesla batteries without the bms this one it's a version that it's almost plug and play you don't need to make anything just connect the cable turn on the button and make some settings in order to start of course in the market there are many kind of bms that are made for tesla but you need to do all the electrical stuff you need to add contactor you need to add pre-charge you, you need to add uh, a power supply in order to power up that bms because they are working on 5 volts because they are running on Arduino uh, board inside. So this was my video. Sorry again for my English. If you have any question, and of course, if you want to buy this unit, don't hesitate. Go into the comment area below, write me your question over there, and into the description area, you can find the website for this seller that sent this unit from Holland to worldwide. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more video like this, don't hesitate. Hit the subscribe, and of course, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.